How do you approach working with the stakeholders involved in an insolvency process, such as creditors, employees and directors? Within an insolvency process, there are often multiple competing interests. However, there's usually one common thread. It's a stressful experience. When called in by the directors, they are the first stakeholders we meet. Normally, directors are experiencing extreme stress, and in many cases, this can and does lead to physical illness. At the outset, the team are always in information gathering mode. We have several standard documents that need to be completed from a statutory perspective, and this forms the basis of how we can provide advice and develop a tailored strategy for the company. The main part of this stage is listening and understanding the journey that the directors and the company have been on up to that point. This narrative is then compared to the formal accounts and a full picture of the situation is formed. It is usual at this stage that we would uncover the priority issues, for example, perishable items that we may need to deal with first from an asset perspective, or indeed from a liability perspective, those creditors who have gone further down the road of debt recovery. This then gives us a to-do list in order. Irrespective of our priority to-do list, when called in, our team at Middlebrooks speak with any employees. The claim of an employee is a complex one, which does often need multiple meetings and conversations to first gather the information, collate it, verify, and then send on to the government for processing. In our experience, early and regular communication is vital for this group of stakeholders to reassure them. In addition, we work hand in hand with government agencies such as PACE to get employees the information they need to make claims or seek new employment as swiftly as possible. In any insolvency proceeding, once appointed, our role is to act on behalf of all creditors equally. To this end, there are several documents that are sent to creditors, and whilst we require to set out the legislation, we're in favour of a tabloid-style communication for creditors. In many cases, we face creditor apathy. This can make our role difficult, as we act on behalf of creditors and we often need their input, but when faced with mountains of paperwork, I can understand why this may turn people off. In my experience, creditors are understandably most interested in whether they will receive funds back from the process and when. Whilst this is right and proper that they are given lots of information to make decisions, they're also running their own businesses and even institutional creditors don't often get involved in the process. There have been significant changes to the legislation to ease the burden of screeds of correspondence to creditors, such as the use of electronic document portals which most IPs offer. 